and God has chosen weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty. It means that if if you you if you are really in Christ, you should know that no matter the sad situation, all things work together for my good. All things work together for my good. You see, that will not, that will allow us to taste and really see. That Lord is good. I want to pray one more time. That Lord, I taste and I see your goodness in my life. That sad things will not take your take my focus off you. I taste, I see. In the name of Jesus. I taste, I see. 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 Jesus. 
Jesus. Let us never pray. Isaiah 40, 31. Final scripture. Isaiah 40, 31. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want us to see here what happens to those that wait on the Lord. I said, but they that went upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Something happens to them. Yes. There is a renewal of the old. Yeah. Maybe before, 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 <laughs> some things might be happening. Before, their strength might be weak. Before, they might be weary. It's allowed. Before. But the moment you wait on the Lord, something is something happens. It says, they shall renew their strength. Fire. For them that are the weak, their strength will be renewed. It says they shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run, they shall not be weary. They shall walk, they shall not walk, they shall not faint. This is not for everybody. You see, it's not for everybody. It's for they that wait on the Lord. Yes. 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 The Lord, as I wait on the Lord, my strength is renewed. In the name of Jesus, my strength is renewed. I run, I am not weaker. In the name of Jesus, I want to convince the eagles. In the name of Jesus, the Kabbalah of the Ghost of Elijah, I want to convince the eagles. I fly out here. I fly out here. In the name of Jesus. Yes, it's a celebration. No, so celebration. Oh, Rata Satan, I'm going to ask you. Let us say celebration. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Matthew 19, verse 26. Popular scripture. Matthew 19, verse 26. Don't stop praying, don't stop praying. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Make sure, make sure you can pray. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning, God. Mm. You know, so I want us to understand that if we cling or hang on to a God that has all possibilities, our beginnings are going to be beautiful. Yes, sir. So we have to pray this prayer point today and say, Lord, as I start this new beginning, I hang on to the God of all possibilities. In the name of Jesus, I hold on to the God of all possibilities. In the name of Jesus, come on, please pray with me. Say this month, Lord, as I start Lord, this new beginning, I hang on, I, I hold on to the God of all possibilities. In the name of Jesus, I start with God. In the name of Jesus, I start with God. In the name of Jesus, as I start this new beginning, this month, Lord, I start with you, Lord. Come on, don't get tired. Can you raise your voice? Can you pray? Six says, but God beheld, but Jesus beheld them and said unto them, 
with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. This month is possible for you. That your prayer point is possible for you. That your dream is possible for you. So I'm going to pray and say, Father, as I start from you, from beginning, but I start with you, God, with all possibilities. I enter into my new possibilities. In the name of Jesus, nothing, nothing is difficult for me to achieve. This month, who is praying, come on, come on, come on. He said, I'm going to rise to raise your voice to God and say, I rise up, I raise up my voice to you, Lord. I start this month with you. God, all possibilities. In the name of Jesus. Rabata Bagata Barabata Ba and Kasha to Kasete Begate Rabata Bagata Bagasa Kataba is directed in giving us all things, but if God does not give you himself, he has not given you anything. Let me say that again. If God is not giving you himself in full, he has not given you anything. So if he can give you money, he can give you uh, cars, but God really, what he truly wants to give to you first is himself. You know? So when he gives you himself, that means there is nothing you want to start, there is nothing you want to do, and you are not going to be able to achieve. Let's now pray and say, God, I receive you in full package this month. In the name of Jesus, as I start this new beginning, Lord, I receive you, Lord. Open your hearts and pray and say, Father, Lord, I receive you. I receive you in fullness of your grace, the fullness of your the fullness of your power. In the name of Jesus, I receive in the name of Jesus, the fullness of your might. I receive the fullness of your might. I receive you in the name of Jesus. I receive you the fullness of your power. In the name of Jesus, I receive you. The fullness of your power, the fullness of your grace, the fullness of your mind. I receive that in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't get tired, don't get distracted. See, for I receive you in the name of Jesus. that he who has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hold on. On Sunday, Bishop told us something. He said that you need to remember always the confidence of a promise and who promised you. What has God promised you? It's in the scripture. And he now said, he who has started that thing is able to complete it. Say, Father, Lord, everything I've, I've, I'm going to present before you this month, Lord, as, I, as, I, as I start it, Lord, I begin to receive completion in the name of Jesus. As I start it this month, I receive the completion in the name of Jesus. What has God promised you? What has he said to you? What has that thing he has told you? Lord, I receive it in the name of Jesus. All that you are said in your word because my reality in the name of Jesus. He was started it and is able to complete it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. For in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. He said, God's promise is my reality. God's promise is my reality. Say, I say, God's promise is my reality. God's promise is my reality. But I'm going to pray that prayer for I say, Father, beyond every promise you have said to me, Lord, is my reality in this new beginning. In the name of Jesus. I'm not seeing what is not working. I see what is working. In the name of Jesus. God's promise is my reality. In the name of, can you write all the voice of praise and pray? Say, Father, Lord, your promises are my realities. Your promises are my lifetime. In the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Your promises are my reality. Your promises are my reality. In the name of Jesus, your promises are my reality. Your word are my reality. Your pronunciations of my life are my reality. Your promises of my life are my reality. In the name of Jesus, Rabbah 
Kasata para Kadaka, Embrepe Kadaka, 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 Psalms, Psalms 83 verse 18. Psalm 83 verse 18. Psalm 83 verse 18. It says that men may know <laughs> that you, whose name alone is the, the Lord, are the most high of all the earth. Say over my life, let men know that you are God. In this new beginning, in this month, let men know that you are God. Over all of you, in my life, in, in this new beginning, let the world know that you are God. Let my family know. Let my business know. Let my spouse know. Let the world know. Let our church know. Let the people of God know. In this new month, in this new beginning, that you, Lord, alone as our God. That you, Lord, alone is our God. In the name of Jesus, He said that men may know whose name alone is the Lord.
For in Jesus' mighty name we are still praying. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want us to know that when we are praying for something new in our lives, something new in the church of God, something new in situations of our life and destiny, your lips, your mouth, your heart is not supposed to be closed. Yeah. Because don't forget, a closed mouth is a closed yeah. destiny. What you don't pray for, don't deliver to you just like that on the platter of gold. So I want your heart, your mind to be connected rightly in tonight's prayer. Hallelujah. Yeah. We'll go further by opening our Bible to the books of Psalm chapter 20 verse 4. Hallelujah. Yeah. Psalm chapter 20 verse 4. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, may he give you the desires of your heart and make all your plans succeed. I want you to know that there's a plan at which you are created to be on this planet. There's a reason why you are created to be who you are. Either your gender, either the place you are now in, in in this time of your life. I want you to know that tonight is not the first day our man of God tells us that this life, we are in this life for a purpose. This life, we are in this life for a reason. This life, we are in this earth because God made it possible for you to still be on this earth. If your own is over, you won't be on this earth. If God is done with you, you won't still be on this earth. There's a reason why you're on this earth. At this point in time, I want you to pray that Father, your purpose for my new beginning, I receive it this evening. In the name of Jesus, your purpose for my new beginning, for me to still be in existence in this world, I receive this evening. Your plan, your desire, your purpose for my life, I receive it this evening. In the name of Jesus, I receive your purpose of my success in life. In the name of Jesus. I want you to know that in God's plan and purpose for your life, your success is sure. Your wisdom is guaranteed. Your understanding is guaranteed. Therefore, you need to pray for that which God has planned and purposed you to be on this earth. That is why you are praying. The Father, the new beginning for my purpose, for your plan over my life, over my destiny, over the works of your kingdom. Father, grant unto me in the name of Jesus. There is surely a future hope for you. Don't forget we just pray for plan and purpose. And the Bible is saying there is a future. There is a hope for you. And your hope will not be caught. Oh, hallelujah. Meaning the purpose of God over your life will not be caught. The purpose of God for this new beginning in your destiny will not be caught. The purpose of you serving God and receiving your reward will not be caught short. The purpose at which you are in virtuous Christian center will not be caught short. I want you to pray at this point that everything, every prophecy that a man of God has laid on you for your purpose to come to pass, begin to receive them for your new beginning this evening. In the name of Jesus, as the word of God says, your own, your purpose will not be cut short. Father, we pray, we decree as an household of faith, we decree as an household virtuous Christian sector, the purpose of this church will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we receive your promises, we receive your purpose. 
For in Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. All right, so I will take this for the last prayer point that I will be taking this evening. The Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 17, hallelujah. Amen. James 1, 17 says, Every good and perfect gift. The Bible says, Every good, anything whatsoever you can think that is good. Anything whatsoever you can think that is perfect. The Bible says what? It comes from above. Hallelujah. Coming down from the Father of heavenly light. Who does not change like shifting shadows. Human beings can change. Your best spouse can change. Yes. Your political person can change. Yes. Or many, your parents that gave birth to you can change. The only person that can change over you is God Almighty. Yes. And that is why we are praying this evening. Hallelujah. That is why at this point, we are going to receive every good and perfect gift from the Lord over virtues, over the works of your hand, over your finances, over your family, over everything that pertains to your life and destiny. Receive every good and perfect gift from the Lord this evening. In the name of Jesus, keep on the day. Father, we receive every for in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. I want you to charge up our spirit in the next 60 seconds can you speak in the Holy Ghost Can we open to Proverbs chapter 13 from verse 1? Hallelujah. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 13 from verse 1. He said what? A wise son. Yes, his father is strong. But what? Son. Let's go to verse 2. I'm taking this one. He said, A man shall eat food and eat food of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall be found. that I've learned from me. 
he is never a mediocre. Hallelujah. Mm. And he doesn't like mediocre around. Yes. He doesn't want you to get yes. this hour. He said there is a time that the God can I can tell you that God is here tonight. Yes, sir. And I want you to take advantage of tonight. That's so sad. That God tonight, whatever thing that you tell me that, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be in the state of conversation, whether it be in business, you know your whole. I want you to get to pray. I said that thing that's not about you to come and get to that for tonight. Yes. Whether it be in a relationship, whatever thing that you tell me that, I want you to get to that for tonight. I said, God, tonight I pray. I don't want you to pray. Can you pray? I step upon your heart and this night, Lord. Whatever thing, oh God, Father, because you have said by my own lips, Lord, say good come unto me. So therefore, tonight I pray, Father, that be you know, that spirit of that spirit of blessedness, that spirit of lack of communication. Lord, I say God tonight in the name of Jesus. Marco Sete, Riga na balabande, Rete Rete na nevasa, Makata baya, Riga na nevasa, Eka na na nevata na baya, Makata balabala, Rete Rete na nevata, Makata baya na balabasa, Ena na nevasa, Ina balabala balabala baya, Ena na nevasa, Makata balabasa, Ena na nevata balabala nevasa, Maya na balabasa, Rete na nevata balabala balabala balabala, Makata baya ne, Rete na nevasa, Makata balabala balabala, Aka sata balabala ne, Rete na nevasa ne, Masha balabala. from verse 1. Amen. He said to the chief musician, let's just, let's continue. Um, okay, just continue. He said to the chief musician, the sound of David, the sound of the Lord, who spake unto the Lord, whose word of the song is what? Is the day that the Lord delivered him from the hands of God? And from what? And of Saul. And he said, I love you, Lord, my sister. 
look at today. He said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the Lord of my salvation, and my eyes of. He said, What? I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to praise, so shall I be saved from my enemies. Amen. Look at me like, I want you to call upon God who is able to help you tonight. You know, when I, uh, when MD was praying, he was saying that that situation that you are in, there is a level that you come to. I have come to a level that I know that whatever situation that is happening to me is happening to catapult me to my yes, next sir. level. Yes, sir. Things no longer move me any longer. Amen. Amen. Because I know that I serve a God who is able. He said that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above what I can yes, think. Sir. That means that if I am if I am thinking this way, uh, God is thinking this way. Yes, sir. It's just for me to follow the pattern. I was saying that time. He said, a man who is set on the course of God is about to get into something. I want you to set a focus tonight on something and pray tonight and say, hey, Lord, I look up to you. I call upon you because you are my rock, you are my savior. The Lord, I look up to you tonight, Lord. That for the, I want I want to desire something tonight. I say, Father, help me. You are my strength. I call upon you, Lord, that you deliver me from everything that my heart hold me down tonight. In the name of Jesus. Something locked up. That's our meeting. I'm coming back. He said, "Don't say the Lord is anointed." Put right hand to what? We are going to reduce this. We are going to reduce this scripture. We are going to reduce this scripture to pray for man of God. Amen. He said, "What? The Lord don't say the Lord. The Lord is anointed to what? Who's what? Right hand and hold." There are some gates that God has opened to this place. I want you to pray that Lord, every gate that you have opened unto Petrus and your servant, oh God, that no one shall show them. In the name of the kingdom, that every gate that God has opened, that none of them shall be shortened in the name of Jesus. Financial gates, gates, Yes, it comes from the heart of God. The Lord, every gate that you have opened up, in the name of Jesus, I shall hold the hand of the servant Lord. We pray tonight, in the name of Jesus. Master Sakabala Bayate, Rebecca Bosa, Master Tabaria, Rebecca Bosa, Ekele Bosa, Master Tabaria, Rebecca Bosa, Master Tabaria, Rebecca Bosa, Ekele Bosa, Master Tabaria, Rebecca Bosa, Ekele Bosa, Master Tabaria, Rebecca Bosa, Ekele Bosa, Master Tabaria, for in Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I want to also use this prayer to pray for every leader in this ministry. That Lord, every day that God has opened to our leaders, both of them shall be shown to the leaders. That we pray, Lord, God of our leaders, in and our own Lord, we pray for the name of Jesus, financial gifts, and to our gifts.
Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Let's go to verse 2. Let's move to this next verse so that we just talk. I will give you the treasures of darkness. Don't let us come. Don't let us come. Praise God. There's something I want you to do tonight. I don't want you to go back the same time. I can tell you, a man of God, he said that there are sometimes some ideas is not coming to you because of what you Amen. Amen. There are some times that when some idea comes to me, I cannot share it because I know that I cannot sponsor it. Because a man just said, as you are bringing in the idea, make sure you go. <laughs> make sure you can sponsor it. Yeah. Some things will, some, there are some things that will no longer be a prayer, a prayer point. Where you are. Sir, sir, if, if I have the capacity to take to so, book, uh, I can pray for a private jet and say, let's go to UK and let's go and do evangelism. Free hotel being prepared. I can tell you people are available. Amen. Amen. That they will do the work. Seriously. Hallelujah. So I want us to know that I when I was when I was listening to a man of God, he was he was speaking concerning that this scripture. And he was saying that if you if you not if you do not agree with God, if you do not invite God to help you to this thing, God is just going to be I want you to go back and not go back with the same financial factors that are coming. I want you to pray tonight and say, Lord, there is an evil business. There is that thing that you don't understand. There is that business that God needs to open your eyes. Amen. There is that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can we, can we go back to that? For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Look at that scripture that we read before. He said that it is by your mouth. Amen. It's by your mouth that you can make this thing happen. It's by your mouth, your back account can rise from where it is. Yes, sir. It's by your mouth that that person that you have been calling mm. to give that contract mm. will call you back. Sir, I can tell you that I have understood that when you, when, that's why the shop said that when you look for God, because God can take care of you more than you can take care of you. That person you are trying to call is calling for God. Yes, sir. That person you are looking for is also looking for somebody. Yes. And I've realized that it is better for you to do it spiritually. A man who said that this happened twice. He said they happened in the spiritual realm before they happened yes, yes, in the physical yes. realm. That person you are chasing, you can chase that yes. person in the spiritual realm and the person starts to look for you in the physical realm. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Is it not better for you to take advantage of this? Yes. I say, Father Lord, let my finances transform tonight. The idea that I need to see, Lord, the business that I need to see, those associates that I need to see, your hidden treasure in this Lagos, in this Nigeria, in America, in Europe, in Italy, Father, in the name of Jesus, that they begin to locate me. Sure, you are praying. Yes, yes, Lord. Don't deceive yourself. Yes, Lord. I can see a lot of people and notice you are praying for yourself. Mm. Now imagine if they ask you to pray for somebody else. What would you do? Pastor used to say something. If the fear of failure would not make you pray, even success should excite you. If you cannot pray for yourself, you see God bring good things for people, and you cannot excite yourself to pray. I wonder what will make you pray. In fact, Nigeria alone should make some people pray. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is my prayer that every door of opportunity that I open in the name of shall be shut against you. Yes. Yes. A lot of people have been presented with opportunities. Yes. Yes. And they did nothing. Yes. Trust me, that is not the devil. That is not Satan. Yes. 
Satan. A man of God made it clear to us. You know, when Satan comes, you can kick your leg. And I like, um, Irene used it to pray when he was praying on Monday. You know, a system can work that takes so like to kick yourself and you injured yourself. Then the devil now act on that kicking of your leg. And that leg now becomes broken. And they, you carry it everywhere. Nothing, they, they can't find anything. And you know something is wrong with you. Mm -hmm. That one is no more system. The enemy has acted upon you. But it is the enemy for Jesus. Yes. And you are thinking that this life is ordinary. No. It is not ordinary. How can somebody wake up and say that everything wrong with Nigeria now is to change anthem? Hey. And you think hey. that your, your life does not need prayer. <laughs> that in this economy, my own case must be different. Hey. 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 In this economy, Olamide started the prayer point. That one scripture that kept coming to my spirit is Job chapter 8 verse 7. I was telling ladies on Monday, don't envy anybody. The Bible says the same God, yes. 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 the yes. same yes. God who is, is rich unto all that God upon his name. What do you want from God? Trust him. You know, I like this illustration that a man of God used to use. This salvation that you received. It's not ordinary, it's a package. Mm. Inside that, just imagine your bag as a package and they put something inside. Everything you need is inside that package of salvation. God is not going to come down again to come and make something new. Trust me, if you need a husband, it's in that package. Yes. If they give that to a boy today and they say you should marry it, you marry that boy. Okay. I will be the first person to tell you not to marry that boy. Yes, yes, Everything you need. It's not going to be made. It has been made. Yes, ma. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ro uh, not Romans. I said Job chapter 8 verse 7. Job chapter 8 verse 7. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know if you read scriptures and you excite you. Yes. Hey. Are you somebody that when you're going through stuff, 
Everybody knows you are going through stuff. They will not be saying, Epinel, are you okay? Are you fine? Are you okay? By the time you finish, even God cannot take the glory because so many people have contributed to Epinel. No. Can you just rejoice? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. People will look down at 
that you will begin to look up to him. Because your wisdom will be on another level. You know, we don't just pray so that we can excite you. We pray because we know that the value God has placed in your life is to translate. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you believe in this prayer tonight, can you celebrate the Jesus? Jesus. Amen. As you have watered others, you will not be like a host that waters others and does not retain water himself. Amen. It is my prayer that God will refresh you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do I have anybody giving their tithe this evening? If you're a tither, please raise up your hands. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Do I have anybody giving tithe this evening? Hallelujah. God bless you. Please just be upstanding. Any tighter in our midst, your tight is a 10% of what God has blessed you with. It might be your salary. It might be a side hustle that you do. It might be your business. Whatever it is that God blessed you with in the course of the week or per adventure, yours is monthly. Ensure to give a 10% of it. And it's my prayer that your tight would be used judiciously in the name of Jesus. People of God, can we stretch out our hands towards this one? And let's just pray over the 
their income, their resources. Let's bless them. That God will multiply their sources of income in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have given now will be the least you will ever give. In the name of Jesus. You will have more than enough. Your coffers will be full and overflowing. In the name of Jesus. You will be a supporter to the kingdom. To kingdom worker. You will be a financier of God's work. In the name of Jesus. That which is left to you with you will be used judiciously. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Alright, you can cast your, your tithe by transferring to the account. The account numbers are displayed on the screen. You can also scan the barcode for easy access to the account. Hallelujah. Do I have anybody um, who want to give their um, seed? If you partnered with internal, um, sorry, if you partner with um, um, our man of God, it is time to redeem your partnership. Uh, we'll be calling on people this week. I want to encourage you to please um, redeem your partnership seed. Hallelujah. Praise God. Right now, it's time to give a regular offering. I'll give you like two minutes to do your transfer. Hallelujah. Uh, let's give them um, joyously tonight. Hallelujah. Um, you can give us a song while people are doing their transfer. I want to encourage you to do your transfers. Make it good to Ventures Christian Center. Hallelujah. attention please can you speak on your seed if you have done your transfer just speak on your seed your seed has a voice they can hear your voice can you speak over your seed tonight hallelujah from that which you have blessed us with we have brought this we ask oh god that you will multiply our seed soul in the name of jesus bless the works of our hands multiply our seeds in the name of jesus let our offering, our tithes, and our seed, O oh God, let it be acceptable in your kingdom, in the name of Jesus. Let it be used to the furtherance of your gospel. Let many lives be saved and translated by our giving, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Have you been excited tonight? Yes, sir. Do better than that. Jesus. All right, let's close this beautiful service tonight. Let's stand up on our feet. Hallelujah. As we say the closing charge. I want you to say generally the closing charge, people of God, grace and peace. Grace and peace be multiplied unto us through the knowledge of God our Father and of Jesus Christ our Lord. Pick a beautiful, handsome neighbor. Say grace and peace to them. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. To the Lord and of God, your Father, and of Jesus Christ, your Lord. Finally, over yourself. Grace and peace. Grace and peace be multiplied unto me. To the Lord and of God, my Father, and of Jesus Christ, my Lord. Till I see you tomorrow morning at the morning prayers, please. Remain us Hallelujah. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Have a good, good evening.